Times of crisis alter the course of history. Hardship breeds innovation. New necessities demand new solutions. But in every generation, in each trial we face, the spirit of our people does not change. Americans meet every moment, overcome every challenge, and answer every crisis with the will to succeed. We pioneer new frontiers and reach new heights never before imagined. So today, as you begin a new chapter, I want to pass along three pieces of advice that I found helpful in my own life, especially during this time of national trial. First, as we all adjust to the social distancing practices, a rabbi recently gave his congregation a new call to action that I think is a great challenge for us all. He said, every hand that we don't shake must become a phone call that we place. Every embrace we avoid must become a verbal expression of warmth and concern. Every inch and every foot that we physically place between ourselves and another must become a thought as to how we might be of help to that other should the need arise. Imagine the happiness and joy we could bring to so many lonely people if we all practice these simple acts of kindness. Second, I invite you to join me in making at least one COVID resolution. We could all form at least one new habit or abandon an old destructive one to better appreciate the blessings of work, life, family, and faith. A recent article written by Charles Eisenstein explained this period in time this way. He wrote, COVID-19 is like a rehab intervention that breaks the addictive hold of normality. When the crisis subsides, we might have occasion to ask whether we want to return to normal or whether there may be something we've seen during this break in the routines that we want to bring into the future. This is a great challenge. Even if the resolution is seemingly small, it could transform something in our lives. Some families have resolved to continue eating dinner together at least several times a week. People are using this time to acquire new skills through online platforms and want to continue to advance career certifications. Many Americans are spending more time in prayer and meditation and want to keep growing in their faith. Whatever your goal is, this is a unique time for each of us to make a change that we had perhaps long delayed and to grow in some way. Finally, right now I know the economic uncertainty is real and it's hard on many of you and your families. Your own blueprint for your future is likely changing due to the pandemic, but I am confident that even if your path is different from the one you imagined, ultimately it can be better than we could ever planned. In my own life, I found that my greatest personal growth has arisen from times of discomfort and uncertainty that one can only really appreciate in hindsight. Joseph Campbell, a philosopher who also helped inspire the creation of Star Wars, once said, the achievement of the hero is one that he is ready for. It's really a manifestation of his character. The landscape and conditions of the environment match the readiness of the hero, the adventure that he's ready for is the one that he gets.